Coming in at number nine spot is Game of Death Tycoon. So this is uh, my top nine favorite games on the PC. Um, and this is just uh, a few games. Some I didn't get footage for a lot of these. I'm so sorry. And the Cinema 4D won't allow me. No, I mean sorry, Stone Vegas won't allow me to put an intro in, so I'm having to do with this. But uh, Game of Death Tycoon, just the freedom to make your own games, makes this game exceptionally awesome. And I spent multiple hours playing on this. And uh, we'll move on to the next number. Coming in number 8 is Skyrim and Elder Scrolls uh, 6 or 5, I don't remember. The reason why this game is so fun is how much you can pack in, all the mods, mm -hmm, and um, everything in about it. It's just a fun little game. Um, that's why it's going in at number 8. Coming in at the number 7 spot is Napoleonic Total War. Made by Sega is one of my favorite RTS games of all time. I played this constantly, 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 constantly. And that's a known fact. This game is, just brings you in, makes you want to complete playing more. And when you play the game, you can feel the open worldness. You feel you having control and everything. But at the same time, as you're battling wars and taking over countries, you have to manage your economy, manage how your battles work out, and just make sure you're. Uh, your country's running as your war is running just makes this game now now the reason why it's seven is the lack of nations you can choose and the lack of um units to me uh older games and newer games have more units more countries you can choose and it makes the game much more you know playable and ma makes you have much more fun experience so that's why it's going in at number seven spot The elite French Counter Force ter uh, Terrorism Unit, GIEGM, was designed to be fast response forces that can quickly react to any large scale terrorists. Turning your view away from a flash flashbang grenade will uh, lessen its blinding effects. More you know. Coming in at number 6 is CSGO. Um, I'm really bad at this game, but it's one of my favorite games to play with my friends, buddies. And it's just a good game to gain some money on, if you know what I mean. Moo la la. You can just gain some nice little money from getting opening chroma cases, which are, ch are cheap right now, and uh, get some moolah bacillium off the market. So that's why I sent number six. Number five is Mineral War Salt Squad 2. And the reason why it's number five is uh, how much the scale is. The scale isn't that big, but this is one of my all time favorite World War II RTS strategy games. Beats Company of Heroes any day. This game just involves you so much. It makes you want to keep playing more to try and achieve a certain goal. Make sure your strategies work though. Infantry versus uh, infantry, maybe you win. Infantry versus tank. Most of the time win. Infantry versus machine gun. Uh, why not go for it? You know, you can't just do that. You have to actually think. And that's why it's going in at number 5 spot. No gameplay for this one, but sorry to say. This is Sim Master Civilization 5. One of my favorite games uh, to play with my friends. And just hang around, blow up nukes, and kill each other. So fun. And I recommend it, recommend it to anybody. Coming in at number 3 is Hotline Miami 2 Raw Number. If you aren't already amazed by the music, this game is one of my favorite games of all time. And just the fast pacedness and the way it's laid out just makes it one of my favorite games. And it's, I don't know what to call it. It's not an FPS. It's not a, it might be a top down shooter, but it's too good for that. So, if you guys want to check it out, it's on Steam. Really easy to buy. And if you're already not stunned by this music, be stunned by the graphics and the storyline of this game. Absolutely man magnificent. Um, and I hope you guys uh, will move on to the next number.
Coming out number two is Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. By far my favorite RTS game of all time. The scale, the battles you can have, the, the like, even on easy, campaign is one of the mm -hmm. hardest campaigns I've ever played. And just how big it is. It's like the biggest map slash game I've seen ever. It totally beats Napoleon Total War and Supreme Commander. And they need to step the game up if you want to get close to this. Magnificent. Pow. Um, but mostly what I can say about this is the battles are magnificent. The base layout, how you're supposed to build your base. And how it's an RTS where you have to miniature economy. But also make sure you can destroy all other players. Just makes me, it makes this game one of my favorite games of all time. Hope you guys check this out. It's on Steam 2. Or you can go to their website. This is just my one of my favorite games of all time. And you can see in a little bit um, the combat. Uh, and I'll let this play on so you can see the combat. I hope to see you in the next number. Coming in at number one is Minecraft. And a lot of you are like, Minecraft? Uh, well, the reason why, if I've spent over like a uh, thousand hours on this game. Oh, you're even more, is how much hours I've spent on this game. And just, I love it so much. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's really hard now, <laughs> I'll tell you something. But, still one of my favorite games. It's fun to play your uh, friend, play with your friends. And just all time a amazing game to play. If you don't, if you're bored, just get on and play some SG. If you want to play with your friends and record a good session, uh, just play Minecraft. If you want to make a good, cool old a mansion, show it off to people on creative. You go go Minecraft. If you want to um, pee, go Minecraft. If you want to PVP some fools, go Minecraft. And it's just the scale. Of how much creativity you have is limitless. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm playing High Pixel Warlords. This is one of my favorite game modes to play with my friend uh, Boone, and he has his channel coming up soon. Um, this is just the game. It's just so fun to play, and it's amazing how they came up with this idea. It just reminds me of Dota and how Minecraft just evolved so many years ago from just a block game where he didn't think he would get famous at all to a game that's one of the most popular games on earth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this top nine and I'll see you at the ending. Hey guys, if you like the video, uh, drop a like below. If you can get to 5 likes, that would be amazing. And uh, if you want more top 9, say so in the comments below, and I'll make one. Any more. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Well, uh, what 2 means is, um, what 2 means is it, it or this one is C is track number 1, and this is track number 2. You want the file, you want the file that actually has the video, um, uh, you want the file that, that of the video that you want to show, um, 
bag. Right here, this cookie right here. You want the video that you're showing? That you want to be in your outro on top and your outro on the bottom, always. So split it if you're experienced with that, I'm not gonna go through that. And now look, you got your picture. Now you can see it's overlapping. Uh this.